All right, so we got Tainted Grail, Fall of Avalon. Let's get to the video. Oh, what? Every time a world falls, oh no, this is in first person. Emerge from the debris. People like you know that the That's most six. valuable rewards can be found off the beaten path. People like you know that to venture out there with a weirdness lurking, one needs to be bro, well uh, who, prepared. Who, who am I fighting? Am I fighting Olympus, bro? Okay. This looks a little fun, in my opinion. In real life archery, you know. There is no Bro, right did not just throw a rock at me. In Avalon. There is only life or death, victory or failure. That man when lying down dead in the middle choices, of the street. You must not forget about one oh God, the guy thing. from God of War. Whatever you oh! will decide, it is you. Who will face the consequences? Not me. I gotta fight Kareem Abdul Jabbar right there, bro. That is ridiculous. I'm, I really gotta fight these bosses, bro, in first person? Oh, no, bro. Uh, wow. Okay, all right. Here's my take on this, all right? It looks pretty cool. Uh, first few seconds of the trailer caught me off guard because I was not expecting this to be in first person. Usually games like these, we, you know, we have to go around, get your own weapons. Um, you know, you're destroying like, you know, uh, low level enemies and then eventually you run into a boss. Games like these, you would, you would typically see like in third person, right? For example, like Elden Ring. Uh, there was another trailer that I reacted to a few days ago. I forgot the name of it, but, um. I don't know if you guys go go check that out. That wasn't even like a like a plug or anything like that. I mean, I honestly reacted to like a trailer where, um, where you literally it was like an Elden Ring you know type of game to where like you know, uh, you're going around, you're looting stuff, you're you're, you're crap, you're getting weapons, you're fighting low level enemies, and then eventually you run into like a big boss and like you it's it's you know you got to find your own, you know. And so to have this in first person, you know, obviously I'm scared of everything, <laughs> you know. So at the end of the day, you know. Uh, you know, you do you doing this, you know, like I had to scare myself in the camera and I can't even see my reflection in the camera, which is crazy. But other than that, it, it looks like a pretty cool game in my opinion. You know, nothing really too. It's not it's not going to like, you know, make me jump out of my seat. But at the same time, though, this isn't a bad game to play, in my opinion. It, it doesn't look that bad, you know, and obviously I'm honest. I'm, I'm never go, I'm never going to fake. OK, this looks, this looks this looks good, bro. First person, it looks a little scary, which is I, I like a game that, you know, that's not too scary, but like it has like a little, you know, in your face type thing. I like that. Uh, but other than that, comment down below what you guys think of Tainted Grail. See you guys later for the next one. I'm out. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. If you guys don't, you know what time it is. All right. Yeah. Bye.